What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rockefeller back with another video. Hope all of you guys are doing well, staying warm. This video is going to be about my thoughts regarding CES 2024, some of the things that stood out to me while watching some of the content and some of the different tech that's coming out for 2024. So we're going to comb through some of those items that I thought were pretty cool. Stick around. All right, up first for me, guys, when I saw this, my mouth dropped because, as you guys know, I do have the Samsung QN900B 8K, awesome TV. I'm loving it still. This TV that I saw at CES 2024, it caught my attention. Let's just put it that way. It received some innovation awards. Number one regarding this TV, 40,000 dimming zones. This TV that I have here has 1,920 and it's 8K. All right, this 110 inch UX from Hisense has 40,000 dimming zones. Let that sink in. Now, we don't know about the processor. We don't know how, how powerful it's gonna to be to handle motion, picture clarity, all these types of things, color accuracy. It's hard to judge from you know watching it on a TV screen. But technically speaking, 40,000 dimming zones compared to this TV, which is almost 2,000. The black levels on this TV are awesome i mean they are fantastic so close to oled so i can only imagine the potential for forty thousand dimming zones number two the capacity for up to ten thousand nits of brightness this tv has the capacity in certain window sizes to do four thousand nits of brightness there's a lot of energy being pushed through this 8k television so so i can imagine what forty thousand dimming zones and ten thousand nits of brightness the, the contrast level that you could possibly get from such a combination is awesome. Moving forward, 40,000 dimming zones, we're getting closer and closer to the potential to really rival OLED. OLED has the capacity to turn off pixels. With this, you have that brightness level that OLED can't touch. OLED cannot touch this brightness level. So with this picture, you're going to get 10,000 nits of brightness, which is Superb. If they do it right and their processor is up to snuff, then you should be able to have some really good highlights, good contrast. Hopefully the motion is, is uh, great on this iSense TV. If they can get this processor right, I believe this will be a knockout television. I love seeing competition. This is why we need competition because you have all these competitors trying to I guess one up each other trying to you know to capture the market when you have that competition this is what you start to see you start to see companies push beyond their limits push beyond what they're known for and i love to see hisense really stepping up their game and they are really pushing the envelope with this tv so again specs are awesome um hisense well done all right guys the second tech that i saw was from lg um, this is their lg g4 with the a11 ai processor 4k um, this is the 83 inch. So last year, LG came out with a 55, 65, 77 uh, with MLA tech, uh, which is a brighter panel for OLED uh, from LG. This year they are offering an 83 inch and I love to see it. I believe the tech is called Meta Technology 2.0. The A11 processor is supposed to be a beast. So if you're looking for an 83 inch OLED, this would probably be your solution for 2024. So LG, well done, let's carry on. All right guys, number three. Last but not least, micro LED. This technology still is ridiculously expensive and out of the reach of most consumers. This is the pinnacle of what we are looking to one day own. All right, micro LED is almost the same thing as OLED except it's not organic. So you have those tiny mini LEDs that can turn on and off, but they're not organic so they don't burn out or you won't have that burn in right. factor when you're talking about micro LED. All right guys, so to wrap it up, we saw Hisense bringing it with their lineup this year for 2024. That UX 110 inch is amazing. Um, LG is bringing it with the LG G4. So if you want an 83 inch OLED this year, LG is going to be the one for you. And if you are a big roller, high roller, your Ferrari is sitting on 38s, uh, micro LED will be there for you. So those three examples were the technologies that stood out to me for CES 2024. Um, I'll throw you guys one more bonus. The Samsung Q990D coming out this year for 2024 
is going to have HDMI 2.1 4K at 120. Stick around guys, like and subscribe because I am going to have that in-house and I will be testing it to make sure it can do 4K at 120 and I'm looking forward to it. All right guys, so that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoy CES. Um, lots of cool tech, uh, monitors, TVs, uh, other gadgets, robots, all kinds of stuff that was seen. Like I always say guys, I hope everybody's doing well, staying warm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.